sign those certs and then we're going to export the uh, private keys for those in PKCS12 format and then once we're finished all of those um, I have another script here that's going to create the key stores that we'll use for Tomcat and what's going on here is we're going to import all these private keys and then we're going to export the, uh, the certs and then we're going to create the key stores importing those certs back in so the, the PKCS12 formats will create the key store with our private keys and then the exported certs that we export from there will import into our CA certs key store to create our public keys okay the other thing too is now once you create um, once you run this Perl script to create those directories um, you basically once you create your signing certificate you don't want to remove that the problem though is that when you create when you create your signed certificates those get added to a database and you won't be able to redo them again without getting errors so I have a script here that basically just cleans up those databases and then you can rerun um, if you rerun this again you can recreate your certificates but you could start from here you won't need to do this again so you would just start from here and create it so I guess I should split this up into one script that creates your signing certificates and another script that creates the certificates but you could do that if you want and um, then we have our Tomcat one so what else do I need? Oh, okay so we also have an open SSL configuration which is basically used to answer a pre-fill a lot of our defaults so for example we're always going to say it's US we're always going to say it's Pennsylvania because that's where I live we're always going to say it's Thorndale because that's where I live um, and the organization name is Fred's house and it's Fred's certificate authority and it's the Metro project and the common name and the email address will differ depending on the type of certs we're creating okay so let's go ahead and do that so if we run the make 12 script we're going to create our signing authority script and I'm putting in the passphrase now that I'm using for that you just need to keep track of that because you'll need that for everything you sign with this um, with these sign signing certs okay so here we go so here's the first one now this is our uh, our root key so this is our signing key so it's US Pennsylvania it's taken all the defaults okay now when we get to the common name we want this to be the root CA okay and I'm not giving it an email address okay where it's the same passphrase again okay so now our signing keys are done now we're going to create our service key this is for our web service okay all these are defaults again okay and then we get to here we're going to call this the service CN and I'm going to make this Fred at Fred .com. Okay, and this is our passphrase again for our signing key. Okay, and yes, we're going to add it to the database. Okay, now we're going to create the key for our client. Um, this is the one that's going to be calling our web service. So this is our web service client. And this is going to be the client CN. And it's fred at fred.com. And this is our signing key passphrase and yes add it to the database now we're going to create the key for our um, secure token server default default okay and this is called stscn once again it's fred at fred.com and there's our passphrase for our signing certificate yes add it to the database and we're done so if we look in here now we see we have all these um, p12 files we have our certificate requests we have our um, private keys okay so now the next thing and and you see here there is where it's created our um, folder for our signing authority and you see all the databases it created to store the certificates that we've signed using our um, own keys okay so when you run that cleanup script it basically gets rid of all of these DB directories but it keeps the keys so you can reuse those and just rebuild your certs again and of course you can just wipe the whole thing out if you want and start from scratch okay so now what we're going to do uh, the other thing too is when we look at that um, 
script. This is where we're also creating our passphrases for those certificates we created. So um, the uh, service key uses the service pass and that's the passphrase for its own store which we're not going to use when we create our key stores as you'll see but you need to know the keys passphrase which is SK so I use the letter K for the passphrase for all the um, private keys okay when we build the Tomcat and we use to build our key stores for Java all the key stores are going to have the password of change it just like they do when they come from from Sun and but you'll still need to know that the key the key passwords are these okay because we'll need to specify those when we create our web services alright so let's go ahead and run our Tomcat script and that'll create our key stores So now we're going to list our key stores out and we have here, this is the key store and it has all our private keys for the three services, our client, our STS and our actual web service. And then here is our CA um, certs um, store with all of our trusted keys in it, including the root CA and all of the other ones. Okay, so now um, I guess let's... Um, Let's go take a look at one. So, oops. Forgot to hit the copy. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so you can see you know what the keys look like here and, and the important thing to note here is that they have this SKI this was very important apparently when you do self signed certs you don't get one of these so the idea of creating my own certificate authority was so I would have these values in the keys and that's what really made it work and then the other thing too now the root CA this will be the issuer of all of the other keys so that when it so that it can basically follow the chain when it needs to um, authenticate those keys. All right, so now that we have our key stores, um, what I did was, um, now if we go back here to Apache, um, I created a key stores folder in the Apache install directory and I copied those key stores over that were created from running um, those scripts. So now we have everything should be ready to go. We have our key stores that we're going to need. We have the uh, thing, you know, the um, JCE um, installed with the full encryption support. We have um, the JAX 2.2 endorsed jar, uh, jar file in the endorsed folders. And as far as I can tell, I think that's all we need to do for the setup. So um, setup is complete. The next video will actually create our secure token server using the NetBeans um, wizard.